Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Football Manager 2016. Here we go then, this is game time versus Liverpool. Should be a good one. If they beat us, they go above us. And they are certainly in the title race, make no mistake. Well, they will be if they beat us. That is fair to say. Drizzle, sounds about right. Certainly for April weather. <laughs> I think this might actually be uploaded on this day. Or we might just be a few days out. Now, something very massive news to talk about. Daniel Sturridge, the informed Daniel Sturridge player of the previous month, is out with a sprained ankle. I know, call me surprised as well. Um, yeah, thank goodness for that. When he actually, you know, gets going and everything, he is lethal. Uh, unfortunately, he's been stopped. Well, fortunately for us, I suppose. In any other situation for myself, it would almost be unfortunately. But if we look at the player stats here, um, as you can see, you know, second only to Iron Robin in the average ratings. Uh, goals... Where's his goal? Oh, there they are. I'm <laughs> wondering where they've gone. Um, 19 for the season. Just behind Neymar, then come Lewandowski, then Negredo. <laughs> I don't know. Then Ronaldo, Costa, Ibrahimovic, and Sanchez. You might notice that Messi is missing. That's because he's been replaced by an imposter, as you all know. Um, let's, see, let's have a look at some of the more key stats then. So, as per the equator, as you can see, most tackles, I mean, we certainly saw that, you know, denying William that open goal, essentially, uh, in the previous game. Dribbles per match, you almost banker on Iron Robin. Key passes, Coutinho, fair enough. Best at hitting target, Juan Cuadrado. That's interesting. Um, not, a, not that I would doubt any of these, incidentally. But we're going to look at the tactics now, so before we go down that rabbit hole. His uh, his team now, Vidal hasn't actually been too bad, I don't think. So I'm going to stick with him also because I've got a promise to keep playing him. So I'm going to stick him at right back, keep going. Piquet, Vermaelen, Alba... Mascarano Busquets, then uh, again, it'd be pretty much unchanged just with Alba coming in for Blind. Uh, Busquets, Mascarano, William Iniesta also coming in for Turan, who's been crap. Uh, Neymar and Suarez up top. So um, let's get into it then. This could be very interesting indeed. So as I say, Liverpool could leapfrog us if they win. Here's the team. So just playing your bog standard 4 4 2. They've got Mignoli. Ah, Martin Scales playing. We have a chance. Sacco, Flanagan, Lalana, Henderson, Allen, Milner, Coutinho, Firmino, uh, Dawson. Uh, Craig, Craig Dawson. Craig Dawson. What is going on with these transfers? Um, Danny Ings, incidentally, is still here. Uh, he's fighting fit again, I guess. Uh, Benteke on the bench, no surprise there. For some reason, Jose Enrique is also on the bench. And, you know, not at home playing FIFA, which makes a change, I guess. I swear to God, if he doesn't leave, <laughs> if he doesn't leave in the summer, well, you know, just, uh, I think his contract's up anyway, so he has to. God, I've never seen a more annoying player on social media. <laughs> there really isn't. Um, anyway, here come uh, Liverpool, the client is offside. So, I'm not going to talk about Liverpool, mainly because I'm pre-recording this ahead of time. I've recorded this about, like, three or four days after the um, appalling skirtle at fault defeat to Southampton and I will of course hold Martin Scales that completely um, but I'm not going to talk about any anything else you know like the Europa League or anything as uh, that hasn't happened for me yet or at least against Borussia Dortmund so uh, Coutinho has scored that is a fantastic start what a wonderful friggin start right Paul the friggin defensive line back again uh, they have just exploited that magnificently and uh, we haven't even had a shot yet how is this happening? I just, I don't get it. Right, William, who's been in immaculate form, has to be, as well today, Suarez against Liverpool for the first time, who will, of course, be against them in real life very soon, uh, in the pre-season, in a pre-season friendly in America. Looking forward to that. Him destroying Martin Skirtle, no doubt. Or, you know, some, I don't know, maybe Joel Matip. I, I, as far as I'm aware, now, um, could some... Um, my viewers perhaps who watch German football who watch a bit of Bundesliga I try to I just don't get the time mainly either because there's a clash with Premier League football which of course like I will watch or you know I forget something's on or I don't have access to it or something but I it is my understanding that Jean Matip is very similar to sort of Mamadou Sacco in that he will give you a heart attack he's solid you know powerful everything like that but my god will he give you a heart attack you know on the ball he's, he's a bit clumsy on the ball type thing and I mean, I think that is a bit of a misconception with Sacco. Yes, he does look a bit like Bambi on ice sometimes, but I just think that's a consequence of him being really, really tall. <laughs> I, I mean, maybe I'm just making an excuse for him there. But yeah, it, I, I don't think it's as bad as everyone says. It's certainly nowhere near as bad as it used to be with Sacco, and it's not something that we can talk about on the game. Alex Vidal, with a very 
Got to look a bit startled there in his profile picture. Right, we have done absolutely nothing. Luis Suarez, again, having an absolutely miserable time. Which is very peculiar. He's not targeted Martin Skirtle at all, as I would have expected him to. Surely he shouldn't have to tell him that. Look, if there's a subpar centre-back on the field, exploit him, please. <laughs> you know, should know that by now. And uh, this is hopeless. Good grief. Play out from the back. What did he do? Lump it forward to the nearest red shirt. And Coutinho's in a... <sighs> Firmino and Coutinho are ripping us to shreds at the moment. Absolute shreds. And, um, wow, we can't cope. We cannot cope here. We've had more shots, but these highlights... Liverpool are looking incredibly dang well, I'll say that, Firmino. Um, blasted over into the moon. But, um, well, this is appalling. Uh, we need a change coming quickly. And Kevin Griezmann, goodness me, a 22-minute hat-trick there for him against Juventus. They're absolutely pounding them. And Milan are beating Arsenal. Right, we need to take advantage of this. We have been atrocious in this half. Right, he, right Suarez, I'm not happy with your performance. Um, midfield, look into the midfield especially. Not happy with your playmaking efforts. I feel like I should make a change. Um, but again, it's it's like, who do I bring on? Iniesta. Let's bring on Rakitic maybe. Uh, we need to go attacking as well. Okay, I'm just trying to... And we'll take off dribble less as well. If it wants to. There we go. Bit of delay. There's just so much delay on my version. I don't know. I think it's my computer. I can almost certainly say it is my computer. It just seems like every few years, the football manager upgrades to such an extent that my computer can't run it anymore. I don't know. It happened on FM. It happened on FM thirteen as well. I had to basically get a whole new computer to play it because uh, my old Sony Vio was basically giving out at that point. Anyway, here's Jordi Alba, and ooh, Sacco just gets in front of Suarez, and uh, that was very that was close. It's certainly better than anything we did in the first half. Yes, we. I know we had a few shots and everything, but they were not particularly threatening. Let's be honest here. Um, Skirtle made a pass. I can't believe it. Yes, I am being incredibly patronising, but he is just truly an atrocious defender. <laughs> it's just that uh, maybe I'm still really angry at what he did on, on Sunday, but god damn. <laughs> I mean, you just, I mean, what, what else do you want me to say? It was a dreadful performance. Right, here's William. It's a bit like our performance here. Here's Busquets. Albert, not, he's got two defenders on him. He still managed to. I was going to say fine Rakitic, but it's a poor pass. And here come Liverpool on a very quick counter-attack again. Coutinho and Firmino ripping the back four to shreds. Not really, I'm overselling that a bit. But uh, it was a nice little pass and Coutinho with a terrible effort off target. Well, here we go. Another chance for Neymar here. Klein just bashes right into him. Gets the ball. It looked like that way anyway on, on the 2D match engine. I am, coming to, I am jumping to a lot of conclusions on the 2D match engine, but that's because, you know... You have to. <laughs> they are dots after all. But it means you can use your imagination, and that's the best thing. Here we go again with Rakitic. Suarez, Neymar, that's nice. He's going to have a shot from an impossible angle, and the outcome is always as you'd expect. Real Madrid, look at Madrid. I've just, all of a sudden, the ninth now, they've just come into view all of a sudden on 44 points. We're quietly doing going about their business there. Right, PK, it's Jordi Alba's in the box, and again, Skirtle clears. We're not really making much of it. I mean, we haven't had a clear-cut chance. That's the issue. Oh, Neymar's... What? What's happened here? Has he dived? I think he's dived. He has to have done. He's been booked in the box. Well, just kind of sums up our day so far, really. A bit of a sucker punch at the start from Liverpool. And it's not as if they don't deserve to not be in the lead. Um, or sorry, to be at the lead. They, they, they're making plenty of chances. They're dealing with Luis Suarez like he's just some conference player at the moment. No problem at all. And Firmino and Coutinho linking up again extremely dangerously. Anyway, let's make some... Let's, let's say push forward. Because at the moment, um, this really is not good enough. And the title race almost certainly will be off, will be gone. Or well, the title opportunity, shall we say, will almost certainly be gone if we lose this. You know, forget playing Bayern Munich next game. It won't matter if we're not in contention. But look at this, just giving the ball away so cheaply and easily. It's really appalling. 
These long balls have to... Oh, Flanagan. Oh, he's on a yellow card. He's been sent off. Jump right. We Right. Push up a little bit more. I say play our defence and, and shorter passing, but why are there still long balls? I just don't understand. Let's turn off Rome as well. Um, and let's whip the crosses in. I know I'm straying from the tactic. I've said it a thousand times, but I've got to improvise at this point because it's not bloody working. Manchester Derby going on. Uh, City are beating United, if you're wondering. Raheem Sterling with the goal. Real Madrid beating Chelsea. I guess that's good for us. Just tightens that up down there and, you know, means we can move away. But nothing's still happening. Right, Neymar. This has got to be good. And it's, it's not the worst ball in the world, but it hasn't ended up in the back of the net. So it's not good enough, really. Um, and here come Liverpool. Bizarrely, somehow, on the counter. But it's a great tackle. Risky by Vidal, but he's got it. Suarez now. Takes on whoever's number four is. I think that's Sacco. He's just man-marked him to hell today. And Busquets trying a shot for some reason. I can't work it out. Mascarano. <laughs> Imagine if he scored that against his former team. Right, Milner's down. And is he off there? I can't see him on the other side. I assume he's carrying on. I not see any, injury, any injury signs. But here come Liverpool again here. Klein. Ings of the... <laughs> wow. Danny Ings, imagine, just imagine for a second, right, we really do need to up the tempo now. And get, right, it has to be higher as well, it has to. With the 10 men, we're behind, we need the goal now, otherwise the title race is basically gone. Suarez, why is he not shot from there? He can score from there, he's done it before, he did it on this ground against Zenit. It was one of the fan most fantastic free kicks I've seen. Here's Danny Ings, though, he's through, and th there's your problem with the high defensive line. They just kill us! in that department just absolutely murdering us and um just it's not working there's just nothing working suarez is looking frustrated i'm sorry but uh, i'm really really out of ideas you can hear the frustration in the voice i'm sure right neymar on uh, sorry neymar center forward Arda turan out left um okay for marlon off Mania. So frustrating. So you, you can really hear him in my voice now. And really isn't helped by the game being laggy as hell. Come on. In fact, let's just push these up as well. It's completely ridiculous. Push Mascarano up as well. Ball winning midfielder in support this time. Pretty sure he said support, but okay. Uh, Mania. Oh, so laggy. <laughs> Sorry, but he's so laggy. And apparently I click false nine. No, I didn't click that. This game is all over the place. Confirm. Yes. Right. Do it. We're not going to overload yet. But I'm about to. Arsenal losing to Milan. And we can't take advantage. We've got ten minutes. And the game is being slow, deliberately slow. Right. Overload. No. Let's just see what this highlight is. For me, no, just... What was that? He had the turning circle of the fucking Titanic and he was still managed to go past two defenders. I mean... I mean, how slowly... I mean, bear in mind, how slowly did he turn there? And this is on high speed. Oh, my God. And Ardor Soran just wimpily hits it into the wall. It's an absolutely shambles. And Neymar gets given the ball on a platter and he still can't put it in. Just heads it straight into the arms of Firmino. And that is game over, ladies and gentlemen. This is the league over. Coutinho just... And look at this. The defenders have given up completely. Absolutely given up now. This is going to be three. I can sense it. Danny Ings just boots it out of play for no reason. He's injured, I think. Oh, he's broken his finger. Oh, God, right, um, my heart bleeds for him. Um, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's fair to say that I suck at football manager. And there you go, there's three Danny Ings. An injured Danny Ings, no less. Um, with the assist by Lucas Leiva. I mean, if that isn't, you know, the final insult, then nothing is, as far as I'm concerned. 3-0 um, defeat to Liverpool when basically only a win would count. For anything, as far as I'm concerned. Ref, just put us out of our fucking misery, will you? Come on. Ref, why are you... 
you know, this is the game. This isn't even the referee. This is the game being a dick because it can. This is this is the virtual equivalent of going na 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 na. Basically, um, and yeah, that is embarrassing. I can see why Liverpool are so high up though, because Coutinho and Firmino are grossly overpowered, in my opinion. And you know, I'm a massive supporter of both. I think both are superb. But let me tell you now, they are not that good. They're not that good. They're brilliant, but they're not that good. Right, four games to go, um, and even with ten men for for the final third. Amazing. Um, we've got one away game left. It's going to be against PSG. The final three are at home. Bayern, Benfica, and Inter. If we can claim ten points from them four, we might. If, no, I don't even. Is it even mathematically possible? I, I guess it is, but for everything else, it's basically gone. Um, we might not even finish in the top three, which would be highly embarrassing. But um, basically, what you've just found here is um, someone who's been defeated by the game, emotionally and uh, everything else, being by the game. Right, Barcelona versus Bayern Munich in the most underwhelming of circumstances in the next game. If we can win there, then maybe... Maybe we can drag, us, drag ourselves back into the title race with, what, three games to go? Possibly. I doubt it. But things aren't looking good right now. Our second 3-0 defeat of the season. We just got destroyed by Coutinho and Firmino. Um, I'm depressed. Bye.